hope everyone is having a good Friday to start off with. I am your host today. I am Lindsay Lichtenstein. Hey guys. And I am going to do a quick five cool tricks and tips in five quick minutes. So in order to make this work, let's get started, shall we? The first thing we have, which is kind of cool, I'm a little biased, I fully admit that, is we have the little binders. These are awesome. The little PVC zip pockets is number one. You can put all kinds of things in here. You can put your needles, you can put them in um, all different sizes. You could put in your interchangeables. There's my crochet hooks. I admit my crochet hook uh, collection is kind of weak compared to uh, some others out there in Camp Yarns, I'm sure. But see, it's nice and easy. You can organize them however you'd like to, zip them and go. You can also put them in your project bag. Again, just pop them out of your notebook and go. I have all different styles of these. So you can see I have um, a little notebook, which is fabulous too. And they're all different sizes, A6 to B7. And I have, those are my fixed circulars. So you can organize, again, those little pouches into your binders. For all of those bits and pieces that go everywhere, all those cable needle hooks, et cetera, um, stitch holders. Also, again, a great little thing you can throw in your project bags and go. And if you are a Yarnsy email a subscriber, you'll get a copy of all of the links if you'd like to get any of these um, products, et cetera, from Amazon. Here's what I use for my interchangeables. See all those cords? Mm-hmm. Who knows where all those cords really are? <laughs> I sort of, sort of do, note to self. So I have them all organized by size, and also all of the little dumal flitchies that go with it. And here are my interchangeables, actual tips. So I have the specials and the longs in the same, convenient, same size. So I can pull one thing out. I know it's a US size six, for instance. So I know where they are. Now, I do have a couple of larger sizes. Um, I use this one in particular for my DPNs, so I can put my size 6 and my size 8 DPNs in there, and I have them organized by size. See, again, what's nice is if I have a project where I need to pull them out for a pair of socks, I can easily pull out that little PVC pouch and go. But it's a nice size. It fits all kinds of different ones as well as, again, the 6, eight, six inches, 8 inches, and as well as the crazy triangle-shaped ones. And here's your regular one inch sized clear translucent binder. So again, it's however you'd like to organize them. I do mine by size and the type. Now here's what I use for my straight needles. It's the plan, man. So these fit my 12 and my 14s and I have some unusual 10s as well. This is more of an antique collection, I admit. I can't remember the last time I used my straight knitting needles. But it's just one way to organize them. I like having them standing up versus laying down. They're less likely to get all those ripples and warp when they're upright versus when they're laying down. Now here's another cool toy. This is the needle hook stand. Now currently this one is made by Knitter's Pride. I would like to caution you before anyone purchases this, it does not contain a US size three. You'll literally go from US two and a half to a US four. Don't ask me why, I have no clue. <laughs> Sorry. But it will also work for crochet hooks. And you can see it goes up to a US 17. But again, I do not know why, US number three, hmm, eh. But one thing I do like about this, yes, it's translucent, um, it's, not the most durable thing, but it will, if you're not throwing it around your room, we'll say it will <laughs> hold up. But I like it because it'll hold the special size needles as well as the regular size interchangeables. You could also use it for your fixed as well. Now note this, when I put the pencil down, know where the pencil tip is. Do you see the pencil tip? I really like this one because it's got the grooved tips, so it holds them in. A lot of stands that just have the tops, 
it will not let you um, stick them in there and they'll actually kind of grip it. They'll just kind of slide out. Now, number four is my favorite, clear boxes. So what do I do with my giant uh, needles? So this is my US 13s and 15s. They live in the same box happily. So there again is my little PVC pouch for my interchangeables, which is my US 13 and US 15. Here are my um, little six inch DPNs. I have a little plastic pouch as well as um, my thick circular. And I also have my eight inches and my Mondo, ta-da, straight knitting needles. I love that color, that green, side note. So again, there's the large ones, the eight inch. So everybody lives happily if you're US 13, US 15 in the same box. Happy family. Now, this big box is kind of fabulous because it will automatically give you the space you need for all those giant ones. Now, this is my giants. This is my 13s, my crazy, all those crazy ones, the really, really giant ones, the size of small, small babies. So that's a nice way you can store all those really giant knitting needles into that nice craft box. All right. And now, where'd it go? And so those are all of the handy dandy little ones. And now before I get to number five, I would like to very quickly remind you of the upcoming Camp Yarnsey Virtual Fiber Festival, April 16th, 17th, and 18th. We have spring into project organization. We'll be featuring these vendors plus more if you, again, would like to get the links to these items before I reveal a number 05 for our today, feel free to check out our website at yarnsy.com. You can become a Yarnsy by going to campyarnsy.com forward slash camp dash registration. Also, please remember to like this little video for me. Also, if you're on Facebook, ring that bell for me if you're on the Facebook page. Really appreciate that, and our Facebook um, page really needs that. Also, if you're on YouTube, please give me a thumbs up. Um, etc. Wherever you're watching this, please remember, it's always nice to get a virtual, hey, that's a good job, or we'd like to see more of these. Also, don't forget, you can follow us on YouTube. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and our Ravelry group. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to get more information when we go live. And again, you can always watch us in addition to all of, uh, all of social media at yarnsy.com. Now, are you ready? I'm going to need to see more likes before I reveal number five. So I'm just going to hang out on this page until you give me some likes because I'm going to be like that. I would also like to thank Camp Yarnsey's 2021 Virtual Fiber Festival sponsors, which include Crazy About Yarn, Yank Your Yarn Stitch Markers, and Wild Stitchers. Shop these and more at our upcoming Virtual Fiber Festival. All right. I'm going to need to see more likes, people. We need to see more loving. If you want to see number five, I'm going to need some loving. It's not hard. Oh, come on. Give me just a little more loving. A little loving ever hurt anybody that I'm aware of. I see you people watching. I'm going to need more love than that. Just saying. I'm gonna need to see more loving guys. Just a little more.
Come on, you're almost there. Give me one more. Just one more. Just one more. All right, now I'm getting greedy. I want one more. Who wants to see number five? If you don't want to see number five, that's fine. I can turn this off. Who wants to see number five? I'm waiting for one more. We're getting there. Number five's a good one. You're gonna miss out. You're gonna be really sad. Just saying. Just saying. All right. And here it comes. Our number five. Um, imaginary drum roll. And our number five is the over the door storage. Woohoo! And this is a fabulous one because you can have this all different sizes. You could put your DPNs, the circular needles, the straight needles, their crochet hooks. Everybody can live in harmony in their own pouches. What I love most about this one in particular is those little tiny um, circular pieces that you get from your interchangeables. The ones that have the sizes. And I know you're thinking like I am. Where are you going? Mm, what? What's that one about? That. That little piece right there. What do you do with those? Well, yes, you could mark your uh, projects. But another way is you can also put those on the outside of that over-the-door shoe organizer. So think about that. So everybody can live in their own little home. They can all hang out in the same spot and live in harmony in one giant over-the-door shoe holder there. Now, I'd like to thank you today for joining us for Fun Friday. If you like this and more, again, feel free to give us a like and let me know that you enjoyed this today. Again, this was just a very mini little quick um, thing here to lighten your Friday. Don't forget, if you'd like more information on our virtual fiber festivals, check us out at yarnsy.com. If you'd like a replay of this, I'm so sorry, this is for Yarnsies only. So this will be deleted off the page in approximately 10 minutes. So for those of you who are not on our Yarnsy mailing list, I highly recommend you get on it now. Go to yarnsy.com for that and more. I hope you have a great day. I will see you soon. I am Lindsay Lichtenstein. I am the founding director of Camp Yarnsey, and I will leave you, as I always do, with my ultimate favorite saying. Once a Yarnsey, always a Yarnsey. <laughs>